Oh my goodness. I did not think of this. Where are you, water wheel? Let's see. Water wheel makes flour from grain and must be on, built on a shore. Flour is not edible. Either go to a bakery or... Okay. Oh my goodness. We're going to do it here where the iron is. I Hello everybody, welcome back to Nagos49, welcome back to Banished, the Megamod series with our medium map of Nomadiaton Vilshire. I actually forgot that I was going to say that this time around and uh, <laughs> just tried it on the fly, believe me. Alright, <clears throat> let's look at the overview real quick, sorry for clearing my throat, right in the microphone. Overview, currently we have 1,543 citizens, 768 families, and 384 homes. We are currently producing... Ooh, we're underproducing by roughly 2,000 resources of food. We're doing okay on tools. We're overproducing, which is good. Uh, we're underproducing on fuel, unfortunately. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize that. Um, I'm, I'm going to get my trusty sticky notebook. Sticky notebook? No, it's a... Uh, it's post-it notes. Fuel. We just need to adjust that a little bit. But actually, the stacks burners will help with that. So hopefully, we'll be fine. We're underproducing on iron, uh, overproducing a tiny bit on stone, and lo logs kind of abysmal right now, to be completely honest. But we're buying a ridiculous amount. All right, let's go into the comments. You guys left some fantastic comments, but it's going to take a minute to unpack some of these, so let's get into it. Eater says, I was all rushing down here to mention, here to mention was already mentioned. So I'll just add, stray hardwood trees can be removed with the remove all resources tool. Ah, that is that is a very accurate statement. That's the dense tree shack. Stray hardwood. Um, I mean, I get that's not too bad. I guess right here. Actually, yeah, right here. Let's let's remove a little bit right here. Remove all resources. Yeah, we'll just we'll just kind of clip those back a little bit. <clears throat> Wait, are these hardwood? <gasps> They're not. Okay, good. I was kind of concerned about that. Oh, and check if families can actually grow in those small conservatory buildings. I looked at a couple. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've like I wasn't talking for the last like hour, so my my voice is like, "Hello, welcome back." I have big families here. Part of me thinks that like this is just people moving in, but I don't know. That one's six years old, and I built this a while ago, so I think we're good. I think we can. I mean, actually, I can't even test that because I need 141 homes, so I don't know. Um. I, I guess if I find like a couple people that are old and don't have any kids because of the way I've been running this maybe that'll kind of give us an indicator I don't know I, I actually don't know that's a really good question let's take a look over here rear extension designed for the family townhouse and officer townhouse but also suits the town abode chain f to cycle appearance f to cycle appearance what oh well holy crap it is look at that huh there's some there's some old families up in here okay so i'm not entirely sure but uh, maybe one of these days i could test it and figure it out let's see also um might be wrong, but I got the impression they were meant for only two people. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It looks like families can grow. That little little six-year-old makes me think that we're gonna good to go. Because there for a while, I had enough people, and all the extra homes are actually just being filled. So, gosh, I don't know, guys. <clears throat> Kendi says, uh, you can upgrade a bunch of the dock homes with rope. And then, hold, uh, let's see, they can hold more people. Okay, I didn't think about that, but we have been making rope. Actually, let's check and see... How much rope we currently have? Let's play the game. How much rope? By the way, there's a comment later about copperware. I have like 600. We're going to address that. <laughs> hmm. Roast rope. 253. Not a ton, but quite frankly, it's, it's enough. So these homes in here, they can be upgraded to the dock resident. Oh, it takes 27? Holy crap. Upgrade the dock residents will provide extra living space for up to six people, as well as better warmth and comfort. Well, we should just totally freaking be doing this. So I'm going to make a note of uh, upgrade dock homes. So thank you for that. Um, and then Kindy also says if you rotate a few of the fields in the rice field, 
or the rice lake over here, I might be able to fit in some of the, the chicken breeders into the empty spaces. Oh, yeah, actually, I think you're right, right here. Let's see. Oh, wow, I really could. Um, I really could just like this, actually. Let me think. If I went... I'd like to do this now. So, if we just go all along the edge here... Now, am I going to be able to... Was it was it a two wide? No, it's a single over here. For that. And then we'll do a walkway here. Then down this way. And then what? We need what, a couple singles. Ah, and it won't go down here. So I'm, I'm curious that... I Hopefully they'll path this way. Oh, they can just walk through the rice thing. So that actually should be fine. Let's, let's see. Can I... I can't do it this way the same way, um, but I can do this. Ah, I hate it when I do that. Hey, back in the day we didn't have dock buildings. And I'm continuously exiting out when I can just remove structures from here. Because I'm smart. Okay, there we go. And then what we want to do is do the chicken breeders, but do them on this side. Okay. And I don't think we're going to fit three. Oh, holy crap, we can. Well, that'll be. I'm curious if I could put one here. You know, let's let's test this. Um, let's put one right here. Because technically they use the rice planter as a path. So I'm going to pull the chicken breeder over here. And let's see if we can do that. Because then I can just line them all here and they act like roads anyway. Okay, cool. So thank you, Candy. Then there were a handful of comments on the Fallout 4 Milos series, so uh, thank you, thank you. Someone asked on a different series, how do you rotate houses? In this game, it's R. I'll actually go in and comment on your comment here after this video. Johnny says, hey, Night Ghost, the rancher is a job description. When someone arrives at the trading post, they'll have this, the name such as Steve the Grocer or Mary the Hauler. Okay. And then he says, farm supplier or living stock trade building will, will be your best bet. Fair enough. So uh, that's a good call. It was something I was asking about before. So that's seeds. This is materials general and what you were referring to if I'm remembering correctly or, or reading this correctly was the livestock trader here. So the livestock trader is what we need to get some of the other things that we were looking for. Um, can I fit this anywhere around here? I don't know if I can. Oh my goodness. Let's do this. I'm actually going to pause it for a minute because I need to figure out what resource I want to put there. But now we have it in there and we won't build over it. You also said, as for your lack of domesticated animals, I found that on the Colonial Charger mod, when you clear a large area of resources, you'll get them. But for some reason, the Mega Mod does, uh, doesn't work on the Mega Mod. Hope this helps. I actually did know about that. Uh, Carl Jurg and I talked about it one day. And um, it was a bug that they just live out there. They're supposed to be a limited resource. And when you clear, you get them. But just like with a gatherer, you were constantly getting them. That's why in my other series, I was just selling them like hotcakes because I was just constantly getting them. It was super lucrative. They've actually fixed that. You have to do it a different way. You have to get the initial ones and then you have to like build stables and things like that. So um, that's kind of what's going on here. Old man says, how many hull, hull, okay, wow. Speaking as challenging hull components do you have? I don't know. Let's take a look. Um, well, I haven't made any. Looks like I don't have any. So there's your answer. I, I haven't purposely bought any, and I don't I don't do auto purchases on on the materials and stuff like that right now. So we didn't arbitrarily get any either. And then they also says build a water wheel to make flour from rice. <gasps> oh my gosh! And then build some bakeries. Oh my goodness! I did not think of this. Where are you, water wheel? Let's see. Water wheel makes flour from grain and must be on. Built on a shore, flour is not edible. Either go to a bakery or... Okay. Oh my goodness. We're going to do it here where the iron is. Actually, we don't need to block that off, so let's be careful. That is a great idea. We'll test it here. It'll... it'll Actually, won't even encroach on this at all. Who knew? Um, here, let's, let's pull you off to the side here. Remove all resources. Boom, bam. Look at all that iron. Delish. There we go. 
All right, cool. I'll get rid of that. Let's see. David White says real water nomads. There you go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Julie says, I like crazy voices. Well, good, because they're here to stay, and they're in my head all the time anyway. Town people live off of honey rice, dot, 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 delicious, with a very upset face. Amy says, the stables are in the resource production next to the greenhouse. Oh, I did not think about looking there. Hold on, resource production. Holy crap, it's right here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We may have a game changer. Um, you know what? Hold the phone. We can put it in here, couldn't we? It's actually not quite the same length, so maybe I'll make it a part of the. Oh, maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll do just some stables along the edge here. I'm kind of excited. Here, let me let me just do like three, and I'll pause two of them, and then we're gonna look at this one and see about building that up. Oh, I'm actually kind of excited. You are fantastic. Thank you very much for pointing that out to me. Grace says, on the next map, maybe you could make a bunch of small towns with different types of houses and economy in each one. I agree, and we should totally do that. And I can do different style homes, which also fulfill some other challenges that people have talked about. So I really want to do that. I think the challenge is going to be managing the amount of people that are within that area that live close. So I may have to do a couple little goofy suburbs that are in between the towns. Um... Kind of like some natural rural sprawl that currently goes on anyway. But I might have to do that a little bit. But I, I do like that idea, and I actually do want to do that. Uh, Tara... <clears throat> Tara... Be? Be? Tara... Be? Tara... Be? By the way, you've been on the channel for a very long time. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you commenting as well. Hopefully I didn't butcher your name. No suggestions. Just great fun. You are so enjoyable to watch. I must... Okay, I just got... I just got freaked out. Kitty Cat just walked by. I thought the door was closed to the basement. That's a negative Ghost Rider. You might hear a little Kitty Cat meow here a second. So Tara says, No suggestions. Great fun. You're so enjoyable to watch. I actually like the accidental discovery that the conservatories look cute back to back. I know, it is kind of cool, isn't it? Like, they, they kind of almost fit. Um, I might steal that one for a labor camp for my own mining area. It's a, actually a pretty good idea. And again, but I believe Cathra and Everwise mentioned it already. The Shepherd is in the resource tab. Double E is using one on his map. It does bring the domesticated in. Then you can just convert it. Whoa, 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 whoa. The, oh, the Shepherd is in the resources tab. Hold the phone. Garden shed for the urban forester. What? I know, I know what you're talking about. I don't. I didn't think it was in here. Salt works, medieval clay pit, tunnel mine, iron shack. Hold on. This is the resource production. Food production. Here's refined resources. Resources tab. Oh, dang. I don't know where it is. I don't... I, we, we looked in here fairly extensively. Yeah, clothing store. That's not right. Plus, these aren't raw resources, generally. Village blacksmith. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, see, shore house. This is a silkworm hut. Again, we've looked through all of those mines, quarries. I know what those are. I know what... Well, hello there, little one. Uh-huh, yeah, you're a cat. Hi, how you like being a cat? Dense tree shack, logging barge, hardwood, hardwood. Bamboo forester palm tree. Yes, I know. Mini forester. Yes, I know. You're a cute little kitty cat that's fluffy. <sighs> Sorry, he's normally not down here because he does this and interrupts me. Get, get up here so you'll be quiet. Come on. There you go. Just sit here and be fluffy. Um, gosh, I don't, I don't know where it is. So if, if you could call out exactly where you're seeing the shepherd, that would be super, super helpful because I didn't think it was a part of this one. Okay. I'm, I'm moving on to the next comment. Jennifer says you have 596 copper ware because you were accidentally making that instead of the copper pipes for a while. That's true. Uh, that you didn't need it can sell them off. Also a good point. 
you have 250 glassware that you don't really need because you already have 60 homewares in storage. And you're mostly building simple, simple homes that don't require homewares. So use those excess copperwares and glassware to get domesticated animals. Oh, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. That we need to use the copperware. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Copper, ware, and uh, glassware, right? Okay. This cat does not understand how to, like, be still. He wants me to constantly pet him. Stop it. Okay. And a couple more comments. Eric says... If I were you, Night Ghost, I'd start making wine and etc. to trade since I think it's worth a bit. I think if we get the wine production up, which, you know what? I, you're, you're right in one regard of I need to actually start doing the wine stills. Yeah, the rice wine stills. There's no reason I shouldn't be doing it. Um, yeah, if we go like this and then I back it up to there, then I could just go around like that. And then we can get a couple more going. Right? Nope, I can't fit it there, so I'll go like this. Okay, I am going to mark and watch this one. Let's start getting more wine going. So, um, Nikolai says, Alcohol is usually a good start for a uh, starting resource, but he is trading higher value uh, value goods already. The luxuries will serve better to keep his people happy. I, I do agree. Um, I think we could branch out into it a little bit, though, and I think it would be okay. And then Cather says, Domesticated animals are listed under dried goods. The stable isn't under food. Oh, that's why it's not under. I think it might be under a tab with the forestry. I'm not sure, though. But I do remember it listed under the food thing. That's that's a good point. And then, let's see. The last comment is from David. And he says, if you improve the stacks burner to the brickyard, they become even more productive. I didn't I didn't know that. Or I don't know that. So let's, let's do this. Stacks burner. It's been running for years. We know it does uh, 1,200. How much is this one doing? 1,200. So I'm going to upgrade this guy, the Brickworks. So let's go like this. And then we'll watch the Stacks Burner next to it for a year, and let's compare. Because I, I don't not believe you, but I have had so many times where I made an assumption like that, and I've been proven just completely wrong. So we need to deal with fuel, um, upgrade the dock homes, and then get the copperware stuff going with the domesticated animals. And actually, I'm just going to unpause and let things build, 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 because there's so much to do right now. So thank you everyone for your comments. Very, very cool stuff. Um, I don't know what were Kilman. Okay, yeah, blacksmith, blacksmith, dock worker, dock worker. Oh, I I remember I put a bunch of extra people in the uh, the, do the dock worker thing. All right, stacks burner over here. We'll go ahead and get two people working that and we will mark it as coke fuel and we'll get rid of that as well. Large smithy, hopefully it'll get done soon. All right, we were working on these, and I'd like to see the stable done, because then we can we can go in and see what is needed. How much rye do I have? Now, I did see here that I'm making an abysmal amount of rye of 67, and I haven't done anything here, so this year will be the one season. These guys haven't seen a season either. So, And there's enough people working there that we'll be fine. This dock market is still struggling a little bit to kind of get things up and rolling, so we'll see, uh, we'll see how that progresses. You're full. We're starting to use a magazine slightly. I wish they'd use it a bit more. I need to just build a ton of homes as well. Large smithy over here is complete. We'll go ahead and mark this down for steel tools and put two people on there. I think I already had... Do I already have two people? Let's see. We are, we're at 14 people that need jobs. And that's 15. So yeah, I don't need to do that. Somebody died of old age and somebody died of scarlet fever. Oh, we've got a bit of a, a, bit of a health issue going on right now, don't we? I, I actually have enough facilities to handle this, so I'm not super stressed about it, but it's going to be interesting to see how this pans out. So this is going to destroy it, and then I'm going to I'm gonna watch it again for the brickyard. Or the brick works, excuse me. Doc Chicken Breeders. So it looks like somebody can work here. That's really good. Another person died of Scarlet Fever, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to go ahead and just get a bunch more of these guys. Because they're just going to be fine. I like it. Um, Alright. Yeah, because the rice guys just walk there. Pretty awesome. Oh my goodness, stables. What What do you... Rice won't work. Barley and corn. Ugh. I'm only doing beans and rye. 
Oats, barley, and corn. I wonder if any of those are going to do anything. Rice! Okay, so the, the the wheel will, water wheel will work. Let's get three people working there. And we'll just let that run for a little bit and see how that goes. What do you have for us, friend? Flax and chestnut. I'm actually going to look for those seeds. Maybe we could do it. I, I don't really know. All right, I've already got this working. I don't need to track that anymore. I don't need to track the chicken breeder anymore. Livestock trader, I have paused. Rice wine, still. I just need to employ three people here and just get them rocking and rolling. Granted, that's actually going to eat into our food supply. <laughs> eat into the food supply. It's going to eat into our food supply a little bit. Here, I'll just put more people in there for these these buildings. So this is actually working. I'm kind of surprised, but I, I like it a lot. They're harvesting all of this. That's going to get employed immediately. All right. So domesticated animals I was purchasing. Apothecary. You know what? I should address this real quickly. And um, let's see. Wine I have, roots I have, glassware. Oh, actually, we can use the glassware here. Let's get two people working this, and I'm, I'm actually going to watch that for a little bit and see if we can get some medical supplies up. I think that'll help a lot, considering we have 30-something people that are ill. We really need to address that a little bit more. So, this this is horrible. <laughs> this rye is just garbage. That's 300. Not terrible, but the beans just do better. So, rye's not really going to be that great. I think I'll leave them for now, just aesthetically. They're kind of cool to have something a bit different. But, long term, it's just not a good idea. I really want to put, like, a um, materials trader over here or something. I've got plenty of people to move goods, so I might as well try to do that. A lot of people are dying from scarlet fever. Which is just kind of weird. We have enough room for people. I don't know. You know what? It's probably the lack of homes. They don't have anywhere to go. To actually, like, get better. Gosh, I'm a horrible person. You know what? I'm going to um, get rid of these. And I'd like to try and put in um, some, like, log storage there to comp compact that a little bit more. Let's go back to the livestock trader. We'll unpause that. I'd like to get that built. Okay, here's the brickworks. We're going to do coke fuel and have two people work that. And I've already got them allocated, so they should reallocate. We're going to watch these two guys for a full year. This... Actually, this does count um, because winter will finish off and then we'll get a full count for this year. So we should be able to see the conclusion of that this this episode. I thought I had more people doing this. I guess I don't need them more for iron ore, do I? Apothecary, what do you what do you need? Roots? Maybe I don't have a lot of roots because I only have like two gatherers. Hopefully they're not getting eaten just immediately. How do we already... Oh, we, we bought a little bit of flour here and there. Okay, I'm like, how do we have 1,700 already? Good night! Roots, I've got 109. All right, well, they'll they'll work on that. I'm not going to sit here and stress about it. Okay. So, you know, gosh, let's go to five times speed so I can actually move around a little bit. We're already at that point, guys, in a medium map. We grew too fast. What do we need here? Anything? I don't think so. I'm not going to sit and babysit this, so whatever. It's fine. So the copperware I can do... Um, Homeware supplies, I could probably even sell those that, now that I'm thinking about it. We started building up the glass a bit more last last time, didn't we? Glassware. Yeah, we're going to leave you alone, but glass itself might be good, and then we could probably sell building supplies. So you know what? Before I forget about this, let's actually put down another glassware guy. I'd like to do it around here somewhere if I can. Oh, well, look at that. There we go. And this is just going to be glass. Brickworks, how you doing? All right, they're starting to make some coke fuel. That's good. Uh, Glassworks is down. Apothecary is doing well. It's it's at least got what it needs, so it can start actually making something. We have a tiny bit of wine storing up, which is very nice. Now it's time for a lot of homes. And homes, and then we need a lot of food. So if I have the water wheel, let's go ahead and go into the production again. Can I get a water water mill snuck in here? I actually can. So let's let's think about how we can maximize this a little bit more. We've got the foundry over here, right? Very nice. I like that that's doing its thing. But honestly, we could do them over here, couldn't we? Oh, don't tell me that's messing with stuff. Okay, two water mills. Until I get the stables in and figure out how to get food going there, I'm actually going to remove those. And what we're going to do is put bakeries in here. And then I could probably put in... 
I could probably do a whole set of homes right here to supply some of the stuff that's going to work over this way. So if we go with, we need to find a bakery that's going to be, that's just the perfect size, dang it. I love it. Get over here. Get over here, bakery. Aren't you just the best? All right, let's put in a few more of these colonial homes. Because I like them. Um, aesthetically, they're nice. They're really nice homes. Also, if you, if you place them wrong, they're wrong. And then you just have to go back. All right. And there you go. And wait, was I off? No, I wasn't off. Well, fine then. You're just going to get a conservatory, aren't you? All right, there you go. Meh. And then this one, like that. And then are we going to do another conservatory? Something finished over here. Ah, the, the livestock trader. All right, let's go ahead and get two people working there. And we wanted to do we wanted to do glasswares, but I mean I'm using it for this a little bit. But we can get the copperware in here. So let's go ahead and copperwares. Let's just say 1,000 because I, I I have a ton right now. I'm actually not actively making them, so we'll have to see how that goes if we need to keep you know supplying that. Maybe it is viable. I don't know what it's worth. <gasps> Domesticated animals. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, are you serious? They're worth that much? <sighs> overpaying 19, 72, overpaying by 72 units. Can I lower this a little bit? What about five? Well, we're playing the game here. Additional three units. Okay. Six. Let's get 12 barley. 12 barley. There we go. All right, fine. We, we got that going. So now some of our stuff over here with domesticated animals is actually going to get built. Milk pen, wool pen. Look, was that immediate? No, it wasn't. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. All right, flour for hardtack. Let's do bread and get two people working there. And then this one's gonna do the same thing. Let's just make bread, bread, bread. Because um, we are we are sub 100,000 food and that has me pretty concerned. The apothecary, are you making stuff? 15 healing broth. You know what? We're just gonna let you do your thing. Got a little bit of medical supplies here. No one's sick right now. That's great. We don't need a heart attack. We need some of that good stuff. And the wool pins and the milking pins are gonna get us into some good old milk. We can make cheese and all that good stuff. Okay, again, the brick works. We're going to check on this after the year. So I'm going to set it over there so it's kind of off to the side. Um, glass works is going to make glass. We're going to get two people there. Boom, bam. Just, just do your thing. We don't want to sit and stress about it. So water mill. Here's the thing. If I go overboard on the water mill, I'm going to have an excess of flour and, and nothing to do with it. And flour is not edible. So we have to make sure we're very, very careful there. I'm tempted to put in some more stuff over here, but I might reserve this for water mills if we find that it's very productive. So I'm going to hold off on that for a minute. Okay, we've got a bunch of the reed farms over here. I'm probably going to put in some more scavengers here or something. I need, I need another source of food because the food situation is not looking fantastic. I also need to upgrade some of these homes, don't I? Um, let's go back to like Old Town and let's start upgrading these. So, gosh, there's 55 people that still need homes. You know what? Let's let's use our resources on just upgrade or actually building a bunch of homes. Look at how many people it takes to not even have enough food in there. Good night. All right. You know what? Let's. A bunch of people need homes and they're cold. I feel like a monster not actually taking care of them. So, let's go ahead and put down a row right now. And let's put a row behind it as well. And we're going to have to build up the... Oh, I hate it when it does that. Build up the walkway. There we go. Okay. And then we'll do these guys. Wait, what? Okay. And then where are you? Okay. And then we've got a trader, which might be our new trader. So we've got to check on that. There we go. And it is, where the heck are we? I am all turned around. 
It's not. Okay, your seeds, but I do need to check on the seeds anyway. All right, got it. Chili and potato. Not what we needed. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Water, water mill. You need to do rice and get two people working there. Good job, you. And we want to check on this water mill and see how much it's making. Made 278 last year, but that was only like a half year. So let's see how much these three people make. This might be an issue of uh, employment and where they live. Not really. Actually, not really at all. See, look, three-year-old right here. Three-year-old right here. I'd, I'd like to think that they had a kid. Right? I don't know anymore. Miners. Why Why are we... Why do we have issues with miners? Have any of these... Fin oh, they have finished. Look, the copper buildings. All right, let's, let's upgrade both the copper mines. There we go. Somebody died in a cave-in. Sad day is sad. I'm wondering if I should get rid of these, except that the fish, the food variety does help with the fish. How are you doing? 225. I guess we could just check right now, technically. So, right now, if we look at just the current season, technically the brick works is faster. It, it's more efficient. Let's see, 270 now. Stacks burner. 235. Let, let's keep watching this. I'm 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 incredibly curious to see how this works because if so, we can max this out. Holy crap, the farmer's college is done. Um dang it. I'm actually gonna put one in right over here. Alright, school. We need another Oh gosh, get out of the way. Another farmer's college, like right here. It's kind of in a weird spot, but I don't care. And let's go ahead and maximize that. Or uh, maximize the priority. Oh, we saw people that don't have jobs here. Let's see, 12, 13. All right, fine. That's fine. Whatever. Okay, they're finishing off homes over here. We still... I'm wondering if I should put in a small a small dock over here. I mean, it covers the area, but we just need more people. And hello. 139. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're at 1,600, which means we're due for an expansion because 800 was the last one, and we doubled that to 16. We are due for an actual expansion, and oh, look at the pins. They're done. Oh, this does a thing? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. All right. What, what are we going to do here? It seems as though the beans are somewhat productive. That's good. So we have an agricultural area. I wonder if I should do this and tin them into food. Like like let's let's do our cute little little farm area over here. I'm not I'm in love with the idea. I'm not sure it's the most efficient thing in the world. But we'll we'll figure it out. Um we need more we need more actual farms. I I'm not I'm not in love with this idea, but I'm I'm still thinking that maybe we could do beans and we can tin them and, and kind of go from there. You know what? I'm gonna make a cut. Let's let's uh go on to the next episode. We're going to check the stacks burner. Currently, the Brickworks is more efficient with the same amount of people, and it looks like the same amount of resources. So we'll have to figure that out. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Let me know what you think in the comments. When I come back, I'm just going to start addressing all this. We're going to build lots of homes and way more food production. So thanks again, and I will see you guys next time. Later.